everybody, welcome back to another fun video of learning with me, Miss S. Today, we are going to learn about clocks and how to tell time. Do you know how to tell time? That's okay, I'm gonna teach you. This is a clock. There's a lot of numbers on a clock. 12 is always at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and we're back at 12. So not only are there 12 numbers on a clock, but there's also two hands. Hands? No, not like this kind of hand but clocks do have hands. They have an hour hand and a minute hand. Today, we're gonna focus on our hour hand. Can you say hour? That's right, hour. So today we're gonna focus on the red hand and we're gonna learn how to tell time when it's 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and back up at 12 o'clock again, okay? All right, let's do it. So the first thing you do when you look at a clock is you have to figure out where is the hour hand pointing, okay? So our minute hand, all of the ones we're gonna do today, the minute hand is gonna be at the 12. That's gonna make us say, oh, clock. The minute hand, or the longer hand, our blue hand is at the 12. We're gonna follow every number with, oh, clock. Okay, watch, I'll show you. So if I put it here, the hour is one, and because the longer hand, the minute hand, is on the 12, it's one, oh, clock. Okay, let's try another one. So now the hour hand is on the two and the minute hand is on the 12. So we're gonna say two o'clock. All right, so now it's two o'clock. Let's see. <gasps> if the hour hand is on the three and the blue minute hand is on the 12, now it's three o'clock. You get it? Let's keep going. Okay. Now the hour hand is on the four and the minute hand is on the 12. So that means it's four o'clock, right? Good job, four o'clock, four o'clock. Now the hour hand is on the five. Do you see it? It's on the five. That means it's five o'clock, five o'clock. If I do this and my minute hand, my minute hand is on my 12, which is o'clock, and my hour hand is on the six, that means it's six o'clock. You're getting it. I love that you're getting it. Okay, now my hour hand is on the, that's right, seven. And my minute hand, my longer hand is on the 12, which means it's seven o'clock. Good job. All right, let's do this one. My hour hand is on the eight and my minute hand is on the 12, which means it's you're right, eight o'clock. You are doing so great. Let's see if you can do this one all by yourself, okay? Where is the hour hand? The hour hand is short. So the short hour hand is pointing at the, that's right, it's on the nine. And the minute hand, which is the longer hand, is pointing to the 12, which means it's Nine o'clock, great job. All right, this one you're gonna do all by yourself. Ready? 
What time is it? Did you say 10 o'clock? If you said 10 o'clock, you are right because the short hour hand is pointing at the 10 and the long minute hand is pointing at the 12, which means it's 10 o'clock. If the short hour hand is pointing at the 11 and the long minute hand is pointing at the 12, that must mean it's 11 o'clock. Good job. And if both hands are pointing at the 12, what does that mean? That's right. That means it's 12 o'clock. Good job. All right, now I'm gonna see if you can figure out some all by yourself. I'm gonna set the clock. Take a minute and see if you can figure out what time it is. Look for the short hour hand. Remember on my clock, the hour hand is red. Where is the hour hand pointing? That's right, it's pointing to the seven. And the minute hand is on the 12. Good. So that means it's seven o'clock. Great job. Do you want to do another one? Awesome. Let's do another one. Okay. Find the hour hand. Where is the short hour hand pointing? That's right. The hour hand is pointing at the two and the minute hand is pointing to the 12 which means it's two o'clock. You are so smart, you're getting it. You're telling time. Okay, let's do another one. What time is it? Great job. The short hour hand is pointing to the five and the long minute hand is pointing to the 12, which means it's Five o'clock. All right, let's do a few more. What time is it? That's right, it's nine o'clock. The short hour hand is pointing to the nine and the long minute hand is pointing to the 12, which means it's nine o'clock. Great job. Let's do a few more. This one is going to be super tricky. You figured it out already? You're so smart. Good job. That's right. If both hands are pointing to the 12, it's 12 o'clock. All right, let's do one more. All right, this is our very last one. What time is it? Oh, I can't get anything past you. That's right, it's six o'clock. Great job. You're doing so good with telling time. You want to take my quiz? Okay, let's go. Hey, let's take a look at our clocks and see if we know what time it is. Remember what we learned. We're going to look for the short hour hand and whatever number the short hour hand is pointing to, that's what time it is. The minute hand will be on the 12 for all of the pictures I'm going to show you. So it's always gonna be o'clock. So remember, whatever number the short hour hand is pointing to, that's what time it is. So right now, this says two o'clock. And if I move it to here, it says five o'clock. Let's see if we can do this on my worksheet. All right, what time is it? The short hand is pointing to the great. So is it 10 o'clock or four o'clock? Hmm. That's right, it's 10 o'clock. Great job. Let's take a look at our next clock. Is it two o'clock or 12 o'clock? Hmm. Both hands are pointing up to the 12. That's right, it's 12 o'clock. Good job. Look at our next clock. What time is it? The little hand, the hour hand, is pointing to the nine. So is it one o'clock or nine o'clock? 
That's right, it's nine o'clock. Great job, we did three already. Let's look at our next clock. The short hand or the hour hand is pointing to the eight. So is it eight o'clock or 11 o'clock? You're right, it's eight o'clock. Good job, two more clocks to go. You're really good at this. Our next clock, the short hand or the hour hand is pointing to the 11. So is it three o'clock or 11 o'clock? You're right, it's 11 o'clock. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna let you do this last one all by yourself. Take a look at the clock. Look at where the hands are pointing. Remember, we're looking for the short hour hand and we're looking to see which number the short hour hand is pointing to. So what time is it? Is it six o'clock or seven o'clock? You're right, it's seven o'clock. Great job, we did it, yay! Bye guys, thanks so much for joining me today and learning all about how to tell time. Join me next time and we'll learn some more fun things. Bye.